Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great Wednesday. Well, today we are going to start this poppy basket is what it's called. We'll be starting in this flower right here. I wanted to start with a darker color. That way y'all can see what I was stitching. Instead of these purple flowers, I was going to start there, you know, like on the edge and work my way in. But yeah, the poppy said, stitch me. And I have my little red, I don't know if it's a peony. I don't think it's a poppy. Do you? I don't know. Tell me what you think down in the description. But that's what I'm working on. Oh, my goodness. It's finally Wednesday. Oh, yay. It seems like the longest week ever. Yesterday, I thought the day was never going to end. I'd do one thing and then somebody'd show up and mess something up. So I'd have to, I mopped that floor about three times because somebody drug in some kind of dirt or mud or something. Oh, yeah, it's unbelievable. And today we have an order come in. So, yay. Fun times. And it'll just be the boss and I. Because the other girl, the one that had surgery last week, well, she was off, you know, until Monday, I think. And, um... She had to go, she has to go to physical therapy now. So, yeah. So she went and did her physical therapy and then she came back and finished or worked the two hours that she was gone. So, yeah. And every time she left, um, today, I'm today, yesterday, I'm, I'm having days and months and hours here, um, Yesterday, she went to physical therapy and then came back and did the two hours that she was gone, which was fine. But every t when she left, I mean, it just like all hell broke loose. And it was a little busy there for a little bit, but we got through it. But it just seemed like yesterday was like a double shift. Like I worked 16 hours for some ungodly reason. But anyway, so today we have the order coming in. So she'll be gone. She has to go to the surgeon's office, which is out of town. And, uh, yeah. So she won't be there. So it'll just be the boss and I putting all the stuff away. So it'll be interesting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I am going to need a nap before I go to work today. Holy cow. And don't ask me what this color is. Do I know? Mm, yeah, it's 3801. It was right there. Yay! <laughs> I thought it was all the way back at the beginning and it was all rolled up. Because I have it rolled, see? To keep it from hitting the stuff that's in front. And making a noise. So, yeah. Unbelievable. So I'll be glad when today gets over with. So, usually when we have to put away a big order and it's busy, then uh, the day just kind of flies by. So, I'm not worried. So, we'll get it done one way or another. So, we'll see. We will see. Oh, goodness, I didn't stitch other than this stitching right here. This is all the stitching I've done today. I don't think I stitched at all yesterday. My finger is still driving me crazy, so that's hence why we're wearing the the thimble here. Just to protect it. And I'm sure I'll cut myself at least once with that uh, box cutter because, you know, 
That always happens on the order day when I'm in a hurry. So we'll see. We'll see how it all comes out. Oh, I got my first present from the cat. I just want to tell you, I was just so thrilled and happy and proud. Yeah, she left me a fur ball right by where I sit down to get into bed. Ah, uh, yeah. I had to remove that. And no, it wasn't a real mouse or a mouse. It was a fur ball. Yeah, it was great. <sighs> yeah, but at least she didn't leave it in my bed or on my bed, so I'm thrilled. Yeah. I'm officially got the cat broke in. She's so funny, I left her one of those mice in the hall. And so now when she comes to get her food, she has to play with that one of those mice that Jill sent me. Until she loses it again, you know. I'll probably find six or eight underneath the bed. Oh, yeah. It's special that way. So, I really don't want to go under that bed. There's, like, dust bunnies. And besides that, I can't get down on the floor. I'd have to have somebody come and get me and pick me up off the floor. It'll be awesome. So, I was thinking of using the broom. And it's about time to what do you call it? Flip the beds? You know. Do you still do that? Do people still flip beds? You know, my mother used to do that every once in a while. I couldn't tell you what her time schedule was. I haven't got a clue. But all I know is we'd have to flip the beds over. I've been away from home too long. I don't know if there was a rhyme or a or any kind of reason to the whole thing. What is going on here? Holy cow. Seriously. So, yeah. I think when my friend comes from uh, Arizona, I'll have them help me flip it because it's easier to do with two people than one. I tried that one other time. And it didn't go so hot, you know. I didn't throw anything out like my back or anything, but it was not fun. It's just easier to do with two people. We're just having a heck of a time with this, this thread here today. It keeps moving up and down like there's a... Oh, I see what's going on. I see, I see. Well, part of it is off. It was wrapped around the end of the, the, uh, the needle. Oh my goodness. See if I get, whoops, sorry. There we go. Bring you in just a bit. So, I think Thursday we're going to uh, lunch in the park with the grandkids. Because we promised that we'd go. Hopefully it won't be raining or anything weird. Yesterday, it was cloudy all day long, and it kind of sprinkled maybe three, four times. Other than that, it didn't rain hard, nothing. The other night, it looked like that, and it rained after I went to bed. It's like, okay. But it's just looked real threatening all day yesterday. But never, nothing. 
It's kind of here and kind of there, you know. All the way around us, but never did a darn thing. It was in the 60s when I got to work. I'm looking for my scissors. Here we go. This will work. And uh, then it got down in the, like 52 by the time I left. Something like that. Exciting. Hopefully this needle will work. I put it on a... Regular needle. I got it. Tried to get the thinnest one I could, and then I remembered there was actually needles on the, uh, you know, on the card. Because that's what Joy Sunday does. I don't have too many thin needles. I usually, uh, sometimes, you know, if the material is too tight, I will get out one of my 28 needles, tw size 28 needles that I have for uh, counted, but this seems to be okay. This material seems very nice, and I've only stitched this much of it, so it it's not being real tight. Sometimes you can just be so tight, I can't even make an X. It's like, what the heck? So I don't know what projects I'm going to work on this weekend. Haven't really made up my mind. You know. Nothing is calling to me yet, you know. I'll get home and it'll get quiet and then my brain will start working and yeah I do a lot of things on autopilot do you do things on autopilot yeah one of the scariest things I do on autopilot is drive because I just know where I'm going and and just go and I really don't think about it one minute I'm where I need to be and then the next minute I'm home again I I have no idea what transpired in between yeah isn't that scary oh god yeah I'm telling you some days it sucks getting old but I figure I can use that excuse anytime of course they might take my driver's license away if I told too many people that but yeah and it's a good thing I'm not going very far because I don't go out of town my daughter drives hmm Oh, my goodness. Oh, good. This is a really bright orange. It shows up really well here. I was going to start with a different color red, but there's such a small area to stitch. I didn't want to be here, there, and everywhere, you know. Like do five stitches and move along and start again. and Yeah. So. That's why I picked this yellow. And I can see this symbol.
see if there's any more yellow right there. Keep seeing that green and in the shade it kind of looks like yellow. It's weird. It's being weird. And we're starting again. We're just going to go this way. Don't know how far we'll get with this thread, but we'll see. It's very nice to stitch on, actually. Doesn't even act like a 14 count. Here, really? Oh my goodness. So I wonder what they'll have at the park. One time we went and they actually had some little kids making snow cones and they were using one of those, I think it was a Snoopy snow cone maker. Does anybody remember those? Did your kids ever have those? Where they're making the ice from ice cubes. Oh my God. Yeah, my kids lost all patience with that. They were like, nope, that ain't happening. Alright guys, well, I think that is going to be about it today. I'll try to keep working on this little by little. Because you know how I feel about 14 count. It, it, it goes really, really well or yep, nope. So, we'll see. But we did get, sorry, got it all crunched up. I had it in my hand. Didn't get too far on two whole threads there or single threads you know what I mean all right guys thank you for joining me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and please hit the bell that way you'll know when my next video comes out stay safe stay healthy we'll see you next time god bless bye bye keep stitching